Welcome to Bedtime Astronomy. Explore the wonders of the cosmos with our soothing Bedtime Astronomy podcast. Each episode offers a gentle journey through the stars, planets, and beyond, perfect for unwinding after a long day. Let's travel through the mysteries of the universe as you drift off into a peaceful slumber under the night sky. ISRO, Pioneering India's Path to the Stars The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, stands as a beacon of innovation and progress in space exploration. Established in 1969, ISRO has grown from modest beginnings to become one of the leading space agencies in the world. Its journey is marked by groundbreaking achievements, including the successful deployment of satellites, pioneering interplanetary missions, and the development of indigenous launch vehicles. This narrative delves into the history, milestones, and future aspirations of ISRO, highlighting its contributions to science, technology, and humanity. The roots of ISRO can be traced back to the Indian National Committee for Space Research, in COSPER, which was founded in 1962 by Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, often referred to as the father of the Indian space program. Dr. Sarabhai recognized the potential of space technology in addressing the socio-economic challenges faced by India. Under his visionary leadership, Incosper launched the first sounding rocket from Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station TRLS, in Kerala in 1963. This event marked India's entry into the realm of space research. In 1969, ISRO was formally established, with Dr. Sarabhai as its first chairman. The organization's primary objective was to harness space technology for national development and to advance India's capabilities in satellite communication, remote sensing, and scientific exploration. The early years of ISRO were characterized by collaboration with international partners, including NASA and the Soviet Union, which provided crucial technical support and resources. One of ISRO's early successes was the launch of Aryabhata, India's first satellite, in 1975. Named after the ancient Indian mathematician and astronomer, Aryabhata was launched aboard a Soviet Cosmos 3M rocket. The satellite's primary mission was to conduct scientific experiments in X-ray astronomy, solar physics, and aeronomy. Although the mission faced technical challenges, it laid the foundation for future satellite development and demonstrated India's growing expertise in space technology. The next major milestone for ISRO came in 1980 with the successful launch of Rohini RS-1, the first satellite to be placed into orbit by an Indian-made launch vehicle, the Satellite Launch Vehicle 3, SLV-3. The launch marked a significant achievement in India's quest for self-reliance in space technology. Under the leadership of Dr. I. P. J. Abdul Kalam, who later became the President of India, the SLV-3 program demonstrated the viability of indigenous launch vehicle development and set the stage for more ambitious projects. Building on the success of the SLV-3, ISRO developed the Augmented Satellite Launch Vehicle ASLV, and the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV. The PSLV, in particular, became a workhorse for ISRO, renowned for its reliability and versatility. Since its first successful flight in 1994, the PSLV has launched numerous satellites into various orbits, 
including the highly elliptical geosynchronous transfer orbit, GTO, and the low Earth orbit, LEO. The PSLV's ability to launch multiple satellites in a single mission has made it a preferred choice for international customers, earning ISRO a reputation as a reliable and cost-effective launch service provider. One of the most celebrated achievements of ISRO is the Mars Orbiter mission, Mangalayan, which was launched in 2013. Mangalayan was India's first interplanetary mission, and its successful insertion into Martian orbit on September 24, 2014, made India the first country to achieve this feat on its maiden attempt. The mission showcased ISRO's technological prowess and cost efficiency, as it was accomplished on a budget of just $74 million making it one of the most economical Mars missions to date. Mangalayan has provided valuable data on Martian surface features, morphology, atmosphere, and mineralogy, contributing to global scientific knowledge about the Red Planet. In addition to interplanetary exploration, ISRO has made significant strides in satellite navigation with the development of the Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System IRNSS, also known as NAVIC, Navigation with Indian Constellation. NAVIC provides accurate position information services to users in India and the surrounding region covering an area extending up to 1,500 kilometers beyond the Indian mainland. The system comprises a constellation of seven satellites and ground stations, offering services similar to the Global Positioning System GPS, but tailored to regional needs. ISRO's advancements in satellite technology extend to remote sensing and Earth observation as well. The organization has developed a series of remote sensing satellites under the Indian Remote Sensing IRS, program, which began with the launch of IRS-1A in 1988. These satellites provide critical data for agriculture, forestry, land use mapping, urban planning, disaster management, and environmental monitoring. The Cardasat series, a subset of IRS satellites, offers high-resolution imagery for detailed cartographic applications. The Chandrayaan missions represent another significant chapter in ISRO's journey. Chandrayaan-1, launched in 2008, was India's first lunar mission. The mission's primary objective was to map the moon's surface and search for water ice in the lunar soil. Chandrayaan-1's moon impact probe confirmed the presence of water molecules on the moon, a discovery that has profound implications for future lunar exploration and potential colonization. Chandrayaan-2 launched by the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO, on July 22, 2019, aimed to explore the lunar south pole. The mission comprised an orbiter, a lander named Vikram, and a rover named Pragyan. While the Vikram lander failed to execute a soft landing in September 2019, the orbiter has been successfully conducting scientific experiments and sending valuable data back to Earth. The orbiter carries eight scientific instruments designed to map the lunar surface, study the exosphere, and analyze mineral composition and water ice presence. Despite the lander mishap, the mission has significantly contributed to lunar science by providing detailed imagery and data, enhancing our understanding of the Moon's surface and exosphere. Chandrayaan-2 has laid the groundwork for future lunar missions and demonstrated ISRO's growing capabilities in space exploration. 
The continued success of the orbiter highlights India's commitment to advancing scientific knowledge and its role in global space exploration efforts. Chandrayaan-3, launched by ISRO in July 2023, is India's latest mission to the moon, following the partial success of Chandrayaan-2. This mission includes a lander named Vikram and a rover named Pragyan, but does not have an orbiter as it relies on the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter for communication. Chandrayaan-3 achieved a significant milestone by successfully performing a soft landing on the Moon's South Pole, a challenging and largely unexplored region. After landing, Vikram and Pragyan began their scientific tasks, focusing on surface and subsurface analysis. The lander is equipped with the chased payload, which has been recording temperature variations at different depths on the lunar surface, providing critical data about the Moon's thermal properties. The rover Pragyan is exploring the lunar terrain, conducting in-situ experiments, and analyzing the lunar soil. The data from these experiments are being relayed back to Earth via the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter contributing valuable information to our understanding of the Moon's composition and geological history. Also, the Aditya L1 mission, India's first solar observatory, aims to study the Sun from the Lagrange Point 1, L1, located about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. Launched on September 2, 2023, by the PSLV C-57 rocket, the mission successfully reached its halo orbit around the L1 point on January 6, 2024. This halo orbit allows for continuous observation of the Sun without interruptions caused by Earth's shadow and ensures an unobstructed view for the spacecraft's instruments. In its operational phase, Aditya L1 has already completed significant milestones. It underwent three station-keeping maneuvers, the latest on July 2, 2024, to maintain its precise orbit despite various perturbing forces. These maneuvers were crucial to keep the spacecraft in its intended trajectory, ensuring the success of the mission. In the realm of human spaceflight, ISRO is preparing for the Gaganyan mission, which aims to send Indian astronauts, known as Vyalmanauts, into space. Announced in 2018, Gaganyan represents India's entry into human space exploration, with the goal of demonstrating crewed spaceflight capabilities and conducting scientific experiments in microgravity. The mission involves extensive collaboration with international partners, including Russia and France, in the development of critical technologies such as crew modules, life support systems, and launch escape systems. ISRO's achievements are not limited to scientific and technological advancements, they also encompass social and economic benefits for India. The organization's commitment to leveraging space technology for national development is evident in initiatives such as the Satellite Instructional Television Experiment site, and the CADA Communication Project. These projects utilized satellite communication to deliver educational programs and information to rural and remote areas, bridging the digital divide and promoting socioeconomic development. Moreover, ISRO's contributions to disaster management and environmental monitoring have had a significant impact on India's resilience to natural disasters. The organization's remote sensing satellites provide real-time data for monitoring floods, cyclones, droughts, and landslides, enabling timely response and mitigation efforts. The Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services, INCOIS, supported by ISRO's satellite data, 
offers early warning services for tsunamis and storm surges, safeguarding coastal communities. ISRO's success has also spurred the growth of India's space industry, fostering innovation and entrepreneurship. The government's recent reforms, aimed at encouraging private sector participation in space activities, have led to the emergence of several startups and companies focused on satellite manufacturing, launch services, and space applications. The establishment of the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Center INSPASU, and the New Space India Limited NSIL, reflects the government's commitment to creating a vibrant and competitive space ecosystem. Looking to the future, ISRO has ambitious plans to further expand its horizons and achieve new milestones in space exploration. ISRO is also working on the Reusable Launch Vehicle RLV, program, aimed at reducing the cost of access to space by developing a vehicle that can be recovered and reused for multiple missions. ISRO's commitment to international collaboration and partnerships remains a cornerstone of its strategy. The organization has signed numerous agreements with space agencies and organizations worldwide, fostering cooperation in areas such as satellite launches, scientific research, and technology development. Notable collaborations include joint missions with NASA, such as the NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar NISAR, mission, which aims to study Earth's changing ecosystems ice masses, and natural hazards. In the realm of planetary exploration, ISRO is planning the Chakrayan mission, which aims to study Venus, our neighboring planet. Scheduled for launch in 2031, Chakrayan will carry instruments to investigate the Venusian atmosphere, surface, and subsurface, providing insights into the planet's geology, climate, and potential for past or present life. This mission underscores ISRO's ambition to explore the diverse and complex environments of our solar system. The organization's vision extends beyond the confines of our solar system, with concepts and studies for interstellar exploration. One such concept is the interstellar probe which aims to travel beyond the heliosphere, the bubble of solar wind that surrounds our solar system, and into interstellar space. This mission would carry instruments to study the interstellar medium, cosmic rays, and the boundary regions of the heliosphere, providing valuable data on the environment beyond our solar system. As ISRO continues to push the boundaries of space exploration, it remains committed to its core mission of leveraging space technology for national development. The organization's focus on addressing socio-economic challenges through satellite applications, disaster management, and environmental monitoring demonstrates its dedication to improving the lives of people in India and beyond. ISRO's achievements are a testament to the vision and perseverance of its leaders, scientists, and engineers. From launching India's first satellite to pioneering interplanetary missions, the organization has consistently demonstrated its capability to overcome challenges and achieve remarkable feats. As it looks to the future, ISRO's ambitious plans including human spaceflight, advanced satellite navigation, and interstellar exploration, promise to further solidify its position as a global leader in space technology. The journey of ISRO is a source of pride and inspiration for India, showcasing the nation's ability to achieve greatness through innovation, collaboration, and determination. As the organization continues to explore the final frontier, it remains a symbol of India's aspirations and potential.
lighting the way for future generations of scientists, engineers, and explorers.